A pickup truck full of teenage carjacking suspects is ripped apart in a violent crash. The New Orleans police were chasing the suspects and the pursuit ended on North Robertson Street near Cluett. That's where Danny Monteverdi is joining us after talking with Chief Ferguson about what led up to that dramatic crash. Traffic is flowing once again along North Robertson Street today in the St. Claude area, but for hours this morning it was shut down as police launched their latest investigation, which all began with a carjacking in the 7th Ward. And this is a chase right now going on. He is driving wild. Let me get out the way. Going the wrong way down the street. This is what they do. This viewer video shows the chaotic moments that Chase went up the wrong way on Elysian Fields Avenue Friday morning. Wrong way down the street. Police say it all began when a group of teens carjacked a Dodge Ram at Deers and Law Streets in the 7th Ward. Witnesses saw it several locations in Gentilly a short time later. The chase ended with a crash at North Robertson and Cluett Streets. Police Chief Sean Ferguson says there were seven teens in the truck between the ages of 13 and 17. He says some of those teens had been arrested before. But what we're finding and what we're seeing is that some of these individuals who are arrested are right back out on the street. So all that we can do from a law enforcement standpoint is to continue to engage and continue to arrest. The consent decree doesn't allow for police to start chases in many instances, but a carjacking can lead to that. Two of those teens in the truck, two girls, are critical at the hospital, police say. Meanwhile, investigators continue to investigate the carjacking and this crash. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. The horrific crash there. The stolen truck hit a house before it came to a stop, a stop, but no one else was hurt in the crash.